Hello, this is Norwich Up, and welcome to Road to Neymar, episode number 12. And so we go into a Division 3 game, and we come up against this side. He had a few Bundesliga players. He had a Marigots and Marco Royce. He also had Samuel Eto, Van der Vaart, and Pedro, and Vermaelen, and Michael Richards. So he had um, a few different leagues and nationalities. He only had about 86 chemistry, I think. So hopefully we could use that to our advantage. However, Samuel Eto gets a nice finesse shot. Uh, just inside the box in the 16th minute to put him 1-0 up and then he gets another goal just about 30 seconds later in the 17th minute and so we're now losing 2-0 really early on however in the 35th minute a nice through ball into Helms and he makes sure he puts it into the back of the net into the bottom right hand corner so now we're only losing by one goal however Marco Royce with a nice shot into the bottom left hand corner just before half time and so my opponent is now winning 3-1 they can see these stats there not too much in his favour quite similar but anyway we needed this victory because we wanted to make sure we could get promoted into Division 2 and a really nice through ball into Chopper Motting he plays it a bit of a sweaty pass into Helms but we'll take that and he puts it into an open net I was a bit scared that he might just fluff his lines and completely miss that however he managed to put that into the top left hand corner actually so that was a pretty nice finish from Helms um, and I do manage to get an equaliser here Bussy is played by the keeper Renato Augusta has the ball now Helms uh, gets into Chopper Motting and Chopper Motting gets past Vermaelen Vermaelen slides and completely misses Chopper Motting and he puts it into the back of the net in the 75th minute and guys it's the 90th minute you know what happens in the 90th minute I somehow managed to get goals I think for the past three or four episodes, I've scored 90th minute goals. It's really, really weird. I think, my, I don't know, I'm just really, really lucky. I get the ball in the 90th minute, and I managed to get one more in the 90th minute as well from Chopper Martin. So I managed to win that game of 5-3. You could say that we got a bit lucky with two 90th minute goals, but a win's a win, and we'll take that. And we now have 10 points in Division 3. So we're doing uh, not too badly. We're unbeaten in this division as well, so we're on our course to get to the division title. But... In the last video, uh, Ed Brown 14 one of my subscribers, asked me to get Ya Conan. He is a strike in the Bundesliga, as we have a Bundesliga side. They can see his stats, 83 pace, 82 dribbling, and 75 shooting. And he has got a really, really powerful shot as well in-game. So he looked like a really, really good pair. And for 600 coins, he wasn't too bad at all. We put um, Chapel Martin in the bench for our next game, just to see how Ya Conan plays. And... If we do manage to win this game, we will be ensured promotion into Division 2. There you can see we have 10 points and it is 12 points to get promoted. But we would still like the title and we have to face Blondes United. And he has a really nice side. He has the likes of Ramirez, um, Rubinho, Lucas, Hulk and Welleton. All have above 90 pace except Ramirez. And he also has Balotelli as well who's a really, really good striker on this game. So it was going to be a really, really tough game. He's got some good pacey players. My defence isn't the paces as well. So I was just going to have a hard job of defending but here Welleton has the ball plays it into Ramirez and Ramirez plays a lovely ball into Rubinho Rubinho is not going to miss from there smashing that into the top right hand corner in the 16th minute and at half time that was a score 1-0 to him I was defending really well after I conceded that early goal but this was a really really tough game and the second half gets underway and he managed to get another goal with Welleton. A really nice chip over my keeper and defender. My defender couldn't get back to uh, any chance of getting the ball out of the net and so he's now 2-0 up. I nearly got a goal there from a shot from Renato Augusto and he does actually manage to get an assist here. He gets that header into Helms. Helms flicks it up and nearly over the player but he manages to get it anyway. Cutting inside and then smashing it on his right foot into the top left hand corner. No keeper is going to save that really powerful shot and so it's now only 2-1 to my opponent I do bring on Chapel Monting in for Renato Augusto and that substitution really works with an absolute amazing shot from Chapel Monting into the top right hand corner no keeper in the world is going to save a shot like that and that was about 25 yards uh, quite far outside the box we'll take a replay of that a really really nice shot there you see a really good touch and then a powerful shot past their keeper so it's two all now and could we get the winning goal well maybe we can because Yakon and runs past all those players and then puts it into the back of net onto the keeper's arms and in the 83rd minute we are now winning 3-2 coming uh, from behind so we're doing really well now however Welleton tries to get through he plays a pass which is going to go to no one however that is a penalty I was pretty annoyed with that because the ball was already out of play but my keeper kind of took his legs a bit but Lucas puts into the back of it in the 88th minute 
And you guys know what I'm like with 90th goals. Can I get a 90th goal now? We'll have to see here. They do have the ball. Could he get a 90th minute goal? They nearly do here. Rubinho is played through. They do misplay his pass. But we'll take that with Helms. Helms now has the ball. He cuts inside and plays it back into the middle into Chapelmonting. Unfortunately, Chapelmonting gets tackled. Have we get the ball back? Obasi now plays it into Beck. Beck now does a little run, plays it back into Obasi. Obasi has got really good pace. He crosses it into Yakonan, who is free. And he gets a nice little volley into the net in the 90th minute as well. We get another 90th minute goal. Can't believe it. We managed to get the victory right at the dying end of the game. And that is how the game ends 4-3 to me. And there you can see Yakonan gets the man of the match as well. So a really nice debut from him. There you can see the assist. Chapman Munson gets an assist and so does Abassi. So we now are up to 13 points in the Division 3. We are 100% definitely getting promoted. If I get two more points in five games, I will get the Division 3 title. So thank you guys for watching Road to Neymar. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like rating would be awesome. On the screen right now is a career mode that I uploaded uh, a few hours ago. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.